is very prophetic, Philip. He has proven that in Acts chapter 8. God kept quiet. Four daughters who can prophesy, none of them paid it. Because all of those people are moving in the spirit of prophecy and gift of prophecy. The level is still like the one we had up there. Let's escalate the case. God had to send a prophet. Who come? And this prophet is a proven prophet because if you study Agabus, he has prophesied many times and serious issues in this book of Acts. Very accurate issues. He has proven fruit in the prophetic. If you are Paul running that move, these are prophets you should be very much aware of. And even in your own team, you've got Silas and others who are prophetic as well. Even you are prophetic. And the Spirit of the Lord has already told you that prison and all kinds of stuff are wait for you when you go up. Mm -hmm. This was this not something new. But you know what? Paul went against all of these things. I want to tell you something. I want to tell you something about Paul. This was his mistake. Even in Acts chapter 9, the Lord said that this is a vessel that I've chosen. That he shall suffer so many things for my sake and for the furtherance of the gospel and so on. Mm. There were unnecessary things that Paul suffered because he he did not regard the prophetic. Mm. 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 Yes, the apostolic, and I want to be honest with you, the apostolic is the life of challenges, sacrificing and all of that. But this imprisonment of Paul that we read in history of Paul was unnecessary. Because there were warnings against it. He was never going to avoid certain challenges that comes with the package and the level. But some of them were necessary to avoid. This imprisonment was not in the package. There are things that we can suffer that are not in the package due to our disregarding of the prophetic. Prophetic dynamics. Now, he says, you know, to the people in verse 13, why do you mean to, why do you mean, what do you mean by weeping and breaking my heart? For I'm not ready only to be bound, but also to die in Jerusalem for the name of the Lord. This was, this was inspiration. This was excitement. This was encouragement. This was unnecessary boldness. Excitement will land you in problems like this. There is unnecessary boldness that you shouldn't be having. When you are given the warning, please, man, don't show unnecessary boldness. Implement the warning that you've been given and avoid unnecessary things. Don't show your faith by proof, by testing God when you're given warnings. Okay, this was the mistake of Paul. From 21 to 28, he suffered unnecessary things due to the mistake he made in 21. Certain mistakes that you make can be prolonged due to neglecting the things that God has warned you about. Four, five, six, seven, eight, I don't know what number are we? I want you to, to know this. Spirit of prophecy. These certain things. When he came to the house of Philip, he could not, the house of Philip could not pick certain things. Sometimes you can be with prophesiers who fail to pick certain things. Their failing to pick certain things does not mean that it is well. It's a tick for you. And they say you are prophetic. Why are you not picking? And I want to tell you this, daughters of Philip, don't be pressurized by what Paul and others. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you are prophesiers. You should. Those daughters were not prophets. They were prophesiers. Mm. Mm. And there are things prophesiers will not pick. Yeah. That were needed offices. Yes. If you look at Agabus, he was very detailed. Yes. Yes. Very detailed in his release of the word. 
very, very detailed. The disciples there were not details, detailed. They just gave a high level where they don't go up. No details of what the people are going to do there to Paul. So, levels now. The prophet comes in levels. Prophesiers pick high level summary of things. The office of the prophet picks details. There is no record. You can show me. I'm ready to learn it. When you see prophesiers giving details, usually ones that have details that are very accurate and specific, there's an office involved. That person is operating in the office. Very detailed, very detailed kind of prophecies. Now, prophesiers like the four daughters of Philip will give you a high level summary. They will give you what they were going to give those kids. They were going to give you exactly what you were given up there in verse 4. So there was no need to repeat that. The Lord had to escalate the issue because it has now reached. Because well, this man is not stopping, this man is moving. The matter now has to be escalated to somebody with, you know, certain grace to handle. And he comes on also demonstrate. You hardly find prophesiers carrying demonstration. You hardly find prophesiers carrying demonstration. They will be accurate in high level summary. But the breaking down, actually, let me tell you this. Let me tell I'm going ahead of myself. Most of prophetic voices that operate in the office of the prophet, they carry a very strong teaching aspect. Yeah. Very strong teaching element. Mm. <coughs> Most of them are not preachers if you do a study of them. Because these kind of things they are revealing must be broken down in details. Some are broken down in details through prophecy. Some are broken down in details in teaching. Because there are prophecies that get released and we don't rush to move. We start to build our lives around those prophecies. Yeah. And sometimes you find that the leader who is leading you is a prophet by call, but a teacher as well. So they start to build the church around that. I follow you. They start to build teachings around that. I'll come to questions. I'll come to questions. It's, it's, very, it's very important that you master these basics. So, Agabus then started to demonstrate. There, there are aspects of demonstrations into it. And I know a lot of you move in the aspect of the four daughters of Philip and the disciples in verse 4. But once there is an office, there's a mental involved, tools involved, demonstration involved, keys involved. There are a number of things given in the office. Jesus. Number of things given in the office. The official who is Agabas here is an official. He also carries the ability to train. A prophesier has no ability to train. A prophesier has no ability to equip. A prophesier is very, he or she is very good in three things. He is he. What were those kids going to do? Sorry, I'm saying those kids. Those four daughters, they were going to do EEC. And Paul there does not need EEC. And also, daughters of Philip must not be pressurized. Yeah, yeah, yeah you are prophetic. You are supposed to be picking these things. They won't pick because it's EEC, edify, exhort, and comfort. It will jump them. Because they are spec only. Whatever they want to release has to do with exhortation, has to do with edification, has to do with comfort. Do you need to comfort this man here? Yeah. So, prophesiers are edifiers. Prophesiers are exhorters. 
You can even hear when they're preaching that this is a prophetic exhorter. This is just a prophetic exhorter. Yes, she's speaking a high level somebody. She's sensing some things, one, two, three things, but no details. Let me take it higher. Let me take it higher. Even when you are an official, when the Lord began to deal with you on, on certain issues and certain matters, he, 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 will, he, will, he will also shut down details. Because he deals with you on details. Because being a prophet does not mean that you will know everything. Yeah. Remember, the, 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 the Shunammite woman comes to Elijah and Gehazi. They are up in the mountain. And, and when she comes, she is a woman of sorrows. And, and Elijah said that she is having an issue. Mm. I can tell. But the Lord has hidden it to me, has not revealed it to me. Mm. I have no details. Mm. Right? Mm. So, even in that level, when you don't know, you will also not have details. Mm. When you know, you will have details. Yeah. When you don't know, there are no details. Yeah. You will discover that a prophesier can pick what you are not picking. But have no, have no depth on it. Don't even know how to handle it. They can just pick that. Hmm, something is not right with this person, but I don't know what it is. Okay, so prophesiers do not train. Let's take it higher. Prophesiers don't activate. They activate nothing because they edify, they exhort, they comfort. There's no impartation there. There's no. There's no activation there. They don't switch anything on. You get my point. This is some of the things that because. If, if you bring an, a prophesier now to speak for you and bring a prophet to speak for you, the results are not the same. Yeah. The results are not the same. The, the official will roll away certain stones that the prophesier was unable to roll away. But this one is having TLB, he's having Ganda Ganda, he's having, he's having all kinds of tools. I'm just using tools as an example, right? That if you can't roll away it with this, it's going to use this. This having a toolbox. Because when God gives you the prophetic office, He gives you a full toolbox. When you're a prophesier, you're given some aspects. Of this, that, this, that, this, that. You don't have full details. Study systems, you'll see what I'm talking about. Study systems, you're going to see what I'm talking about. You can close the, the curtain there. And the windows, maybe. Study systems. You will see what I'm talking about. So, when you, when you study systems, you will see what I'm talking about. Study corporate systems. There is an end user in any system whose job is just to capture things. They can't approve payments, they can't, they, their job is just to capture, they upload payments but they can't authorize anything. Mm -hmm. Professors don't authorize anything. Okay. Theirs is just to capture, reveal, exhort here and there. They can come in your midst and speak with their evangelical aspects and add prophetic flavors, edify the church here and there. Once you've got a serious crisis in the church and they never pick it, But then you bring in an official who gets very detailed in their approach and roll away things that a prophesier couldn't roll. That's, the, that's where the difference is. And even officials are different. There are also levels in officials. Yeah. Yeah. The prophetic is deep. One of my favorite subjects in all things that I teach is the prophetic. I love the prophetic. is one of my favorite subjects. So, the, the officials as well have levels and types. All kinds of officers. All kinds of officers. And their roles are very different. Okay? So, what is important now is to understand that the prophetic dynamics are not the same for each one of us. 
The first thing you need to master is that you need to master the aspects of being a prophesier. Master that and be good in that. And then we, we can talk about other aspects later. So let's go back to dynamics. So the mistake of Paul was to disregard prophetic warnings and end up using excitement and encouragement and boldness and you know get in trouble in Jerusalem and end up in things that he shouldn't have ended up in. Okay? So prophetic dynamics. <coughs> prophetic dynamics. Professors must always meet these three objectives. Edify, exhort, comfort. First Corinthians 14, verse 3. 3, number 3. Prophecy is about Jesus Christ. Prophecy is about Jesus Christ. Revelation 19, verse 20. For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. The testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. All genuine prophecies are consistent with the personality, the mind, the conduct, and all that Jesus stands for. All prophecies must be consistent with the person of Jesus. They should reveal his nature. They should reveal him in different glories. They should reveal his person, his mind, and so on. The primary purpose of the prophet is not to tell you that you've got a half cut tomato on the left side of your upper door of the fridge is to basically reveal Jesus Christ. Okay? Four daughters of Philip. Yours is to edify, exhort, and comfort. Prophetic dynamics. There are acceptable mannerisms and unacceptable mannerisms when you are a prophesier. There are acceptable manners and unacceptable mannerisms when you are doing EEC and Pro Revelations 19 verse 20. All right? Even though the person is anointed, there are things that do not come by anointing. They come by training. Chapter 2. Even though the chapter 3, even though the person is anointed, there are things that do not come by anointing. They come by training. There are things we learn by training. Mannerisms. Mannerisms can be learned through basic training. Basic training. Number one, the person who is prophesying or the prophesier must avoid the following. You must avoid using King James language. <laughs> Prophesiers, four daughters of Philip, Thine thou did die, thy saith the Lord. <coughs> There's nothing holy or godly about King James language vision. Avoid King James language vision. We're talking to four daughters of Philip, right? And verse four people. Avoid King James language. Number two. The prophesier must avoid cramming prophecies. One prophecy every day. For the Lord says this is a new day. Even as you leave this meeting, for the Lord says that thou shalt return in power. For God says I'm putting my hand upon you. Even as you live here, my hand shall be upon you. I begin to show you my glory. You shall begin to see me in the way you've never seen me. For he says this is a new day. 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 That says the Lord. 
Nu am prins la Amazon. 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 Nu am